All right, back again. Trying to do it a little different today. Every Friday I cook fish for Mama Joy and Jenny and myself. Usually I'll catch them on a Saturday or Sunday and then freeze them till Friday. Because I work Friday, so I usually don't get to fish Friday. But I had the whole week off this week. And I'm hoping to catch a limit of fish for us to go straight from the lake, clean them up, put them in the fry pan. But I got to find them here first, right in my general area where I've been catching them and not seeing anything yet. Had a good week off. Got the pool closed for the year. Did the struts and brakes on my car. Got my fish house all fixed up for the year. Another thing we did, Jenny and myself, we went and picked mom up. And took her up to see her sister Sharon, my auntie Sharon. She's in a memory care unit. And they have not seen each other in quite a few years. So it was a pretty cool moment when they first saw each other again and were just touching their faces and, oh, it's you. Sharon says, oh, it's, oh, I had a bite. Oh, it's my little sister, Dolores. Where have you been? That was pretty cool. So we got to put the puzzle together with Sharon. And now that we know where she is, we'll be going to see her more often. Because they just love each other. Not only were they sisters, but they were best friends through their whole lives. Sharon's going to be 85 in March, and Mom's going to be 80 next month. Or November. She'll be 80 November 21st. But we got to find some fish for Mama Joy. I'm trying, Mama Joy. Maybe put my pants on the ground. Well, he looks good. Chuck it back out there. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'll try and get on the fish and show you what I'm getting. But for now, it looks like I got some work to do. It'll help with the breeze. The breeze is just starting now. All right, well, I found the fish. For now, they're in pretty shallow. <coughs> this one's a small one. See, I pushed up into like five feet of water here.
got one keeper. I've caught a few crappies, but they were all smaller. Don't know where them big ones are at. Come on, big giant crappie. Where are you at? Yeah, it's definitely peaceful out here. I can hear cows mooing, sandhill cranes, heard some geese. What's going on here now? Because I was getting them as soon as they hit the water. Good. Well, no, nothing. Thought I was on to something. Come on, we need more than one fish to cook, cook tonight. I suppose now they're moving back out to my deeper spot. Well, crazy. Try one more. Nothing. There's one. Oh, he got off. Hmm. Felt like a decent one. This is a little one. Oh, well, he's not tiny. He's a keeper. So that's two. 
Like you say, I caught it. Four or five crappies, but they were all small. And before when I'd catch a crappie, they were all pretty much big. And you get one small one. But we got two nice sunnies. That's a good start. I'm only going to fish till noon or so. And then Alyssa and Foster, I think they're coming too tonight. So last week was perfect with the 10 sunnies and four crappies. I'd like to do that again. That was a perfect amount. Come on, fishies, where are you? Okay, that's where I'm at. Two sunnies, zero crappie. I'll keep you updated. Oh, I find out why it's been tough fishing. Oh, I caught him on my little crappie rod. Big, beautiful northern. So, hopefully now, the crappies will come in here. But that's a decent one. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get some more. Papa out. Well, I'm glad I caught that norther. Because all I got was four sunnies, one crappie, and that norther. But that's plenty of meat for tonight. So it's going to be fresh from the lake to the pan. I already got them cleaned up. Got them in a bowl in the refrigerator waiting for time to cook them. So thank you, Northern. Mm, thank you, Sunnies and Crappie. I am looking forward to it. I love our fish fries. Papa out.